The fundamental science of building design is drawn from air pressure differentials and the properties of liquid water. Like a weather map where high and low pressure zones cause wind, in a building these cause air movement. Air movement can carry water with it and the first strategy against this is an air barrier. An air barrier is effective at dealing with air carried water by resisting air movement and keeping pressure equalised within the framing and outside the cladding. Water that does make it behind the cladding can be deflected from going further in the wall and then removed with a combination of engineered drainage and drying. We take advantage of gravity to divert water down and out of the building. Likewise, on the exterior, we can design to shed water using gravity and the properties of liquid water to our advantage. But water can move against gravity, surface tension on water drops, and their attraction to a material surface can lift them up. This capillary movement can occur in various building materials and tight joints, just as in a sponge or a pipette. To limit the creation of capillary pathways, High gloss painted surfaces and appropriately sized gaps can be used to complete the picture. Soak up the details of the science of building design and build 157.